Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to discuss about the background and critical analysis of the poem, I Cannot Live With You. The poet is Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson is an American poetess. She is known as an original poet because her poems are unique. She did not copy anybody. The new trend and feature was composed for the first time in poetry. Dickinson was born on 10th December 1830 and she died in 15th May 1886. Her full name is Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. She wrote many famous poems like Because I Could Not Stop for Death, I Am Nobody, Who Are You? A Bird Came Down and Walked. Hope is the thing with feathers. The poet introduced a new technique of poetry in literature. She is a pessimist poem poet and deals with death. She was shocked in life because she loved a person but unfortunately he died. She remained unmarried and spent a lonely life till her death. She was interested towards white clothes, which are the symbol of death. She wrote 1800 poems out of which only 10 were published in her lifetime. Dickinson's younger sister, Livina, discovered her poems after her death. Her first collection of poetry was published in 1890 after her death by her sister. She did not get proper recognition in her lifetime. Analysis of the poem There is 12 stanzas in this poem. The first 11 stanzas are written in quatrain. Quatrain is a stanza of four lines, which are not perfectly rhymed in this poem. Last stanza is an example of paradox. There are many religious references in this poem. Those are Jesus, Sexton, Heaven, Paradise. Influence of Calvinism Rev Influence of Calvinism Revival which is a Christian belief. This Christian belief was shown in America in 19th century. Schools, colleges and society forced everyone to accept Calvinism. All her family members accepted Calvinism except her. The poem starts with a sense of impossibility. The poem is about a couple's hopeless love story. The tone of the poem is despair and painful. Technique used in this poem the poet used dashes instead of punctuation marks. She also used capitalized words in the lines of this poem. She used unique and trickery imagery. The poem can be divided in five parts. First one is why they cannot live together. Second one why they cannot die together. Third one, why they cannot rise together. Fourth, why they cannot fall together. And fifth, why their meeting or reunion is not possible after their death. The last stanza is based on six lines. The rise of symbol. Rise is the symbol of resurrection, which is another form of Christian belief. Keynotes of this poem The poet loved and dedicated to her boyfriend more than God. She was far away from the belief of God and Christianity. She dedicated her life only to her boyfriend. She rejected she rejected the social 
rituals and last of all dickinson's poetry was heavily influenced by the metaphysical poets of 17th century england these informations will help you to analyze or to read the poem easily thank you